everyone, it's Carly and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to recreate the look that I did for my work uh, holiday party. If you guys watched yesterday's video, then you would have seen that over the weekend we had a little fun holiday party to go to and it was so fun to get glammed up and all dressed up. Uh, Sebastian looked so handsome and I felt like I looked really beautiful. So this look was super easy but also just fun and festive and so I thought I would share that with you guys today. I don't normally do a ton of makeup videos so bear with me, hopefully you learned something or just enjoy watching it. Um, and you also please ignore the rain that's coming down. It has been raining the entire time I was filming. It was sort of peaceful, but also hopefully not distracting. Uh, so I hope that you guys enjoy this. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy these types of videos, please hit that subscribe button. I'm doing Vlogmas all month long and I would love to have you around for the ride. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm starting off and I've already washed and cleansed my face um, and I also put on a sunscreen as well. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my eyes and do my eyes first. That way we just avoid any fallout onto our foundation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to conceal my eyes and I love to use the Maybelline Super Stay. We're just gonna chuck this on our eyes. And this is what I use as a primer for my eyes and it's always worked so well. Taking my small damp little sponge, we're just gonna blend that out. I find that this just gives nice color to my eyelids to match the rest of my skin since it's a concealer that I use for my face as well. It also just helps my eyeshadow stay in place, but I also, just to make sure, make sure it's gonna stay, I go in with my Maybelline Fit Me loose finishing powder and I'm just gonna put some on there and then put that right over the concealer that we just laid down. Now that our eyes are all primed and ready to go, we're gonna start on the shadow and I've been dipping back into the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette uh, just because I love this so much and I always go back to it, um, especially when I'm doing like a fun date night look. I like to use some colors in these. So I'm first gonna pop Silk Cream on my brush and just throw this into um, my lid as my transition shade. I love using this shade in particular because it just matches my foundation the best and not that your transition has to match but I feel like it just makes, it's not too orangey, it's not too brown, it's just like that nice perfect neutral tone. Now that our transition shade is laid down, I am going to just darken it just a teensy tiny bit and I kind of pop around a few different colors. I go into, this is like always so hard to find the name. One, two, three. Pooter and Pukey, like <laughs> those two names. Um, so I go into those. I like these shades because they're not too intense and they don't darken it up a ton, but they just add that level of like definition that I want in the eye and especially right in that crease just to darken it a little bit more and then focusing a lot of it on the outer edge of the eye. And I always have a clean um, blending brush just to help smooth everything out. Um, as opposed to using, <laughs> I just threw that, as, a pl as opposed to using the brush that has all the product, I think it's nice to have one that's clean um, that can just blend everything out. So as you can see, it's a little bit darker. That's what I'm gonna do on the second eye here, just to deepen it up. There's always one eye that needs a little bit more love. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for the uh, outer part of the lid. Now I'm gonna focus on the inner like shimmer part, which is one of my favorites. So for the night that I first did this look, I had this nice little shimmer right here. And this one is called In Light, and it's one of my favorites to use on the lid. It's just really pretty, makes everything look sparkly, and just gives you that element of like glam and fun. Um, but I think for this video, I'm going to... I can't make up my mind. I think I wanna do like a gold shimmer. So I think I'm gonna pop into the queen right here on the end and just going to throw this on my lid. I love going in with my finger because I just feel like I get the most control, especially with like a foil eyeshadow. And 
um, but I always do like to go in and smooth it out with a brush as well. But we're first gonna start with our fingers. Taking this flat little brush here and just putting a little bit of that shimmer on just to pack it on once more. Then we're going to dip back into those three shades that we use all over the lid. And I'm just going to just like clean up that crease just a little bit, add a little bit more shadow in there. And then lastly, I'm just taking my clean blending brush and blending out those edges. You guys might not be able to tell from this light coming through, but I did get a lot of fallout from that shimmer, so we're gonna leave that here until I uh, do my foundation, so just ignore that moving forward. But now what I'm going to do is just simply line with this, this is uh, this NYX, that's the point little liquid liner. And I'm just gonna do a little bit, I'm not gonna do a wing or anything, but I'm just gonna line my lash line and then we're gonna buff it out with a darker shadow. That was actually way harder to do just one hand. I have to like sit in front of a mirror. So I went and did it, uh, but now I'm gonna show you guys. I just did a nice little thin line of that liner and then I'm going to buff it out with a darker shadow. And I'm in the Jaclyn palette again. Whoops. And I'm going to be using a mixture of Soda Pop right here, Soda Pop and Central Park, right? Yes, <laughs> those two. And I'm just gonna take this flat little definer brush here and dip into both of those and buff out that line. I love doing this step because it doesn't just feel like I have like a tiny little line of liner. It just looks a little bit like blown out and a little bit more natural, but also still adding a little bit more depth into that lash line. Okay, our eyes are all smoked out and I'm feeling really good about that amount of product. So now what I'm gonna do is just pop into my lashes. Um, so I have the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara and I love this mascara. I use it every single day and it makes my lashes so long and really drawn out, which is what I want for this look because I'm not gonna go in with fake lashes today. Um, but you could totally easily pop on a pair of fake lashes, but this mascara does it for me. And if ever you have like a little smudge of mascara, I just leave that there and let it completely dry. And then once it's dried, I just buff it out with a little eyeshadow brush and it comes right off. Okay, and those are the eyes done. I'm gonna go clean up the fallout on my face as well as just kind of buff out all of those little marks from the mascara and then we'll be back here to do the rest of our face. We're all cleaned up so I'm gonna start on my foundation and the liquid foundation that I'm using for this look, this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear and I seriously love this stuff. It's become my new favorite foundation so I'm just gonna pop it on to my beauty blender and where's my mirror? <laughs> and just dot this all over my face. I love the coverage that this gives. This is definitely not like my perfect shade, but it like works well and adds like a nice color to my face. So as long as I like blend it down, it really doesn't bother me. And I love the consistency and the wear on it. I feel like it just looks beautiful. I'm gonna get my ears, especially because my ears are showing for this look. So we're gonna make sure those are the same shade. Now we're gonna conceal, and I kinda like to do a mixture of concealers. This is the e.l.f. Uh, 16 hour camo concealer and I've talked about this before and I really love it and then I also like to mix it because um, I do like to use the Maybelline Superstay one all over my face and then I like to use the elf one for the spots that need a little bit more love so I'm gonna go in first with the Maybelline Superstay and I like to ooh, put this right on my chin 
down the center of my nose and as well as my forehead. And then I like to do a little bit on my cheeks because I do have like red marks on my cheeks so I just do a little patch on my cheeks and I don't do anything under my eyes just because I feel like I don't like the look of concealer under my eyes. I don't know why. I haven't found one that I love and it just never looks great to me. Then I'm going to spot treat with the camo concealer and I only have a couple to be honest. My skin isn't doing too too bad. But I do want to make sure that I'm all nice and concealed. Then we're going back in with our tiny blender and just blending all of this out. And I'm really wanting to highlight the center of my face, which is why I put the concealer all the way down the center of my face. And I'm going to try as I'm blending it to really keep it there and not spread it out. Now I feel like the look is coming together because when you do your um, eye makeup first, it can be like <laughs> so scary just staring at your naked skin. But once you have foundation on, I feel like it just all comes together. Now we are going to set our foundation. So I'm using the Bare Minerals Just Original Little Powder and this is in I'm Fairly Light. So I just do a tiny little amount. I don't go crazy with this because it does add color, um, but I just really love the way it like sets my foundation. So I'll just do a tiny little bit and trying not to dull any of that highlight that we added from the lighter concealer. So I just kind of take it everywhere like you guys saw. It was just like one little swoosh and I'm not gonna dip back into it. So this is enough to kind of really set my face. Still adding light and warmth to the face, I'm going to bronze and um, add some blush. So this is, uh oh, I do not know who this is by. <laughs> I think this is by Catrice. Um, and this, I just, my sister got this, but I know that they're at Ulta. And this is the Sun Kissed Bronze. And it's just like a nice shimmery bronzy shade. And I love that it has a tiny bit of highlight in there. Um, just kind of adds, it's like a two in one. And I think on like a cute date night, it's nice to be a little bit more glowy. So I'm just going to sweep this across the forehead. It's going to mess up my hair a little bit, but we really want to get in to the hairline. And bronzing up the sides of my cheeks. I really love to focus this towards the top of my cheek and ear and then kind of like swoop it down towards the end of my blending. And yeah, again, I just love the color. I love the warmth that it gives to my skin. Just makes me feel more alive and way more festive when I have a tan. Okay, we're all bronzed up and now we're gonna add some blush. This is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I love this shade. It's one of my favorites when I want a nice little powder blush. It just looks so pretty. Again, it has a little bit, oh, nice little hair. It has a little bit of added shimmer to it. Just so pretty. And then I'll just like to blend that into my bronzer. And I always add a little bit more blush than I think I need just because blush fades the fastest on my skin so I feel like I add a little bit more before I head out the door and then by the time I'm out the door it's already gone so that's why I'm adding a little bit more here but I love it I just love this blush it's so pretty and then lastly to just highlight the face I'm going to go into this Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter and this is in the shade oh I don't know what this is but I will leave it down in the description but it's one of my favorites, so pretty. And it just gives that nice little festive glow. So I pop it on my cheeks. I still love the highlight glow on the forehead and on my nose as well. And a little bit on my cupid's bow because why not? And that is pretty much everything for our face. One of the last things I'm going to do is add the shadows that I put on the top of my lid. I'm going to put just a little bit under my eyes just to kind of bring it all together. I'm so crazy, but I do not like bottom mascara. I know that's so weird, but I feel like it just doesn't look great on me. So I add 
um, a little bit of the shadow underneath and I feel like that does it enough for me. And then I'm going to, oh, I don't have it with me. I'm gonna go grab my lip, we'll do my lipstick and then that's pretty much the finished look. Okay, moving on to lipstick. This is one of my new favorite lipsticks. I just love it. Every time I look at it and think of it, I think of my wedding, which makes me really happy um, because my makeup artist gave this to me on my wedding, which was so sweet. So this is the L'Oreal Paris. Uh, this is the JLo collection, which also makes me feel really good. So it's just a nice mauve nude and it just goes well with each look and it also stays really nicely. Um, but I've also found that it's just like comfortable to wear. I feel like I don't like a liquid lip when I feel like I am going to be eating and drinking and being out all night because it just like clumps up and chaps where I feel like this lipstick, it just kind of fades away, which you don't ever want your lipstick to fade, but it also just doesn't like crack my lips and just like have this nasty residue. I'd rather it just be gone than have like a gross little outline of what I used to be wearing. So that's why I really gravitate towards just like a nice cream lipstick for a night out uh, because I just think it does well for me when I'm like speaking to people and talking to them. I just feel more confident. So I am popping some of this on and I feel like it just totally completes the look perfectly. And that, oh, I didn't even do my brows. Oh my gosh. I literally almost did this whole makeup without my brows. So lastly, to finish off, I'm just using this Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. I love, it's just like an easy, slim brow pencil. And I love that. So I'm just gonna fluff this up and pretty much just speed through it because, I don't know. It's not like I do my brows amazingly, but I think it's pretty boring. So. We're gonna speed this up. Okay, now the look is completed. Brows are on, face is done, and this is just kind of my easy go-to glammed up holiday look that I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me do. I also just have my hair back. This is how I had my hair for my wedding, and I really love it. I just think it's so feminine to have like a cute gold statement earring and then your hair put back so that your shoulders are showing, or I don't know, I just feel more elegant and feminine if my hair is like back behind my face. I just really love it. So that's how I chose to do my hair for the night of the party and for this video. Um, super easy, just I have a couple bobby pins in there and curled the rest of my hair, popped on cute earrings, and we were off the door. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope that you learned a little bit of some of my tips and how I like to do my makeup. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.